Hello everyone and welcome back to my Super Mario Galaxy walkthrough. PK Gam in the kitchen, in the his house, and I'm going to the Beach Ball Galaxy to do this purple coin comet thingy. Uh, yeah, purple comet, that's what it's called. Um, why I'm going to be doing this one right now is because these are large collection quests. Kind of like those, uh, honey, kind of like the one at Honey Hive Galaxy. Um, so th these are going to take me quite a while. So I think I'm going to get these done and over with right away, just so I know how to edit the parts and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there's the delightful purple hue on the screen. It is quite beautiful. Um, go over here. Do not forget about this purple coin right away. Yeah, I'm just going to collect this really out of, not out of reach one, this really easy to forget one right away. Um, and then I'm going to go over to this one right here and swing on this vine like Tarzan. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Now I'm going to collect the higher ones by swinging really high with the control stick. And I'm going to flop on over to here. And I think I'm going to go all the way back over to the start. Oops, not swim underwater, Mario. And climb up this tree here. I'm just kind of uh, sectioning each part of each part of these coin collecting off, just so I remember what I collected. I guess I evidently have to jump on the tree. Actually, there's no real danger of falling here, because if you fall, you can just walk right back up there again. There's there's pretty much no danger in dying on this one, because you aren't underwater long enough to drown, and you aren't, whoops, and you aren't close enough to the edge that you're gonna fall off of it. You know, that you'll fall outside the beach bowl. So it's not really much of a scary uh, purple coin collecting hunt here. I guess that's why the uh, music is nice, calm, relaxing, tropicalness. And I'm just going to collect that coin like that because I can't long jump worth poop today. And this way is good, I think. And yes, I am collecting the ones above land first before I go into the water. Uh, it's just, as I said, to section it off, it'll make it a little easier for me to keep track of what I'm doing. There's a, whoops, there's a purple coin on top of his, on top of his head here. Yeah! Yeah! I'm sorry I had to bounce on your head to get that, but so is life when you're a purple coin collector. And I'm already at 50 coins, but it doesn't end there. There's a little bit more up on that cliff over there. I shouldn't say it's a cliff, it's more of a patch of land. Because cliff is more of something that is above the abyss, so to speak. And I'm just going to backflip up here and see if there's more coins around here. Oh, there is. Before I go on that swing, um, there's a couple coins here. I think there's a couple coins underwater. I'm going to long jump to this crate here. Then I'm going to long jump over here. And then I'm going to jump on the, in the water on the way back. Don't become Spring Mario just yet, because that will... Uh, um, oh, what the heck? How do I get up there if I can't wall jump off a backflip? Let's see. One, two, triple jump, and spin. Okay, that works. Um, yeah, don't worry about being Spring Mario just yet. You need to be Spring Mario to get to the next area, um, but not just yet. So don't worry about it, and just long jump over to this thing right here, and jump as high as you possibly can in the air. Yeah! And try and land onto this thing like that. That worked out extremely well. Usually that takes me a couple of tries to do. I guess I'm really getting the hang of this game since this is the third time I've played through it. Man, I love this game, even with its collection-ness. Anyway, uh, there's a coin right there underwater. There's only two coins underwater here, if I'm not mistaken. So, collect that. And, I don't know, I just really love this game. It just, it just, I don't know, it's... Just pure awesomeness. Uh, uh, I need to be... Oh, no, I don't need to be Spring Mario to get up here. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, yeah, there is more purple coins up there. There's some purple coins over there. I'd really like to change a camera angle, but I guess I'm just going to have to blindly jump. And that works for me. And where is the other purple coins that I've seen? Uh, maybe I'm going to have to jump down to get up. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, there's some up there. Can I just walk up that limb? I'm not sure if I can just walk up it. If I can, that'll be really nice. Oh, I can walk up it. That's very nice. There's a penguin up here. What are you doing up here, little guy? Oh, yes, it is a pretty nice view. 
I shall sit back and take in the sights just like you, but I can't press up on the dang control pad. Why? Anyway, now I'm pretty sure there's some coins underwater, so let's get to those. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the higher ones first. Let's take a little gander around here. There's a star bits, but those are kind of useless to me at this point. Maybe they're all low, maybe... Uh, dang you, camera! <laughs> Camera's not being my friend here, star bits. Uh, oh, there's a coin right here. And there's probably more coins around here. I don't, I don't exactly remember how many are underwater, but the ones that are underwater are pretty well hidden. Well, not, I shouldn't say they're well hidden, but because of the how wide this area is or how large this area is, it's kind of tricky to find all of them. And I, and I need some air. Pardon me for a second here. Woo! Oh shoot! I just jumped out of the water like a dolphin, but that worked out. I still got my breath of air, and there's some star bits up there, in case you can't see that in the background. Looking for coins in the gentle waters. This is just such a nice place. I mean, seriously. I, I could mess around in this area for hours, and I would be happy. Just, just messing around in Beach Bowl here. Just because of how ex extensive this area is. I mean, I mean, it's, it's about the size of a Super Mario 64 area, so to speak. Um, but it's just like, it's just so beautiful to explore, it's just so nice. And with this purple hue that's on the screen, oh there's a coin here, um, with the purple hue on the screen, it makes all the colors look so much deeper and it just looks so beautiful and I'm not a graphics whore or anything like that and I seriously need air. I'm gonna assume that I got all the coins underwater, just because I can't find any more at the, at the moment here. But there's four coins underwater there. I, I hope there wasn't five coins underwater there. Because five seems like the number that uh, people round up to if they were to put something underwater. Uh, or in some certain area. But I'm just going to trust my instinct and, and say that uh, I got all the coins in that area. Um, I'm going to plop myself in the water here just to nullify my springy effect here. Just like that. This will make it easier for me to control uh, while I collect the coins around here. And I'll be able to move a lot more swift. Or I should say swiftly. Mario's not really the most agile person. Well, I should say graceful. He is pretty agile for a plumber. I mean, when you think of a plumber, you think of a... A, a chunky guy with uh, with very short pants, well I shouldn't say short pants, pants that don't stay on him, and that his butt crack shows, you know how that is when you call a plumber over, and then it's just like, yep, you should look away from that plumber, because yeah, you're going to be scarred for life if you take a look over there, and um, is there any coins up here, please don't, please tell me this, I don't think there's coins up there, okay. Um, I think I need to be Spring Mario to get up there, if I'm not mistaken. So this this is the point where I have to be Spring Mario. Uh, I'm just gonna pop up here, and there we go. Point, and uh, I don't know if that really saved me time, because I had to go back and stuff like that, but, uh, let's see if I can hop myself up here. Oh, I can, that's nice. Uh, there's a coin there. There's a, oh, coin there. And there's a coin way over there. I've seen that. But, wow, is that way out of... I shouldn't say out of place. It's really high. Um, there's 95 coins, but where are the last five coins then? Uh, er, what? I have no idea where the last five coins are. Uh, wait, should I be looking up? Well, there's a couple up there. Are they up, way up on top of that tree? They're, they probably are, just to tick me off. Um, but I can get up there pretty easily just by getting the Spring Mario power up again. Uh, I should say Spring Mushroom, and just spring any spring, spring myself up. Whoa! <laughs> right up here. And... And... There's three... Oh, come on! There's two coins left! What a rip-off! What the heck? Let me get the coins... This is very hard to control on this small, precise area. And... No, there's no coins up there... So where am I missing two coins? Hold on just a second! <laughs> I see one of the coins. Uh, gotta go up this tree. I'm not sure if there's two up here, though. 
springity spring, there's the coin up there. But where is number 100? Ah! I found that it was underwater, way in the corner by that wall that you destroyed. Woo! And the star appears by that penguin coach dude right there. So let's go back up to the surface and collect our delightful star. Woo! Woo! Well, that was a lot of work. It took about uh, 11 minutes. With a little bit of cutting, I can trim it down to, like, under 10. Probably, maybe, I'm not sure. Well, there's a star! Alright, I decided to go to the Dreadnought Galaxy at the Garden, because... I don't have too much more time to do a star in this part, so I'm just going to do the purple comet on this area. This is probably, in my opinion, the hardest star to get in the game because of the execution. Um, you know how, you remember how we went through this track before where we go upside down and sideways and stuff like that? Well, now you have to do it while collecting purple coins. And just like the one at the Battle Rock Galaxy, you cannot go back after you pass up a coin. So you've only got one shot at each of these coins, and this goes a lot faster. I shouldn't say it goes a lot faster. It's a lot smaller area than the Battle Rock Galaxy one because of the size of the platform, which means that your jumps have to be more precise. And surprisingly, this, this one doesn't have a time limit, but it has the rockin' purple coin music despite there not being a time limit. I don't know why it doesn't have it, but I'm not complaining because I love this music. And I'm gonna hop up here, get ahead of the platform as far as I can, and precisely get those coins. There is, oh my god, there, if you get hit once, you also pretty much lose out, um, because you won't be able to catch up in time. Oh my god! And I need to get... Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I'm not going to have enough time, am I? Oh, shoot. I got squished. <laughs> well, that's 46 coins up to that point. All right. I'm back over at this thwomp part here. This time, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to go underneath, backflip up, backflip to the right, get onto this platform, and there we go. That's a lot better. I'm going to do one of these dealios to collect those coins. That's 56. And, oh boy, that was a little scary. Now we're sideways. Here's where things get really awkward. Because it's hard to keep yourself center on this one. The other ones, when you're upside down and the right side up, it's not that hard to stay center. Oh, I got them all. Never mind about that, what I said. Now I'm back upside down. And, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh... Your back, the backflip is your friend. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. No! Gotta do it from the beginning again. Okay, we're back on the this upside down one. Let's see if I have better luck this time. I certainly hope that I do. Because this won't be pretty then. I'm gonna flip onto this side, activate this platform. Oh my goodness! No, 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 no. No, I don't think so. I can't believe I saved myself there. Oh, no! Can I actually... No, I can't salvage it. Goodbye, cruel world. Back to the upside down section again. That's 69 coins. <laughs> this one is the bane of my existence. This one is so evil. It should not have been invented. Ow! Poopers! Oh my goodness. I might be able to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I get... Uh, uh, no! Poopers! Oh my goodness. This is... evil, I tell you. One of the most dangerous level designs I've ever played, I gotta say. Oh my god, I actually got lucky there. I'm gonna long jump all the way. Oh shoot, I'm pretty sure I can still salvage this one though this time. Just completely skip the platform, there's 99. And long jump over here. Wait, oh my god, this... Oh my gosh! I think there's one coin left off to that platform. There it is! Yeah! Well, I shouldn't say it's left on the platform. It's uh, in midair, but it's on the way towards the final platform at this engine here. 
You did it! Wow, he really worked for it. Yes, I did! And that does it for this part. I can't believe I collected that star. That one's evil. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.